hello friends my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about how to store text files or character oriented files into database so here uh, I have a, a database table uh, is called a store text file underscore table and this table have uh, five columns uh, file id which is type of integer not null and auto incremented so basically it's a primary key with auto incremented now second column we have a file size which is a worker uh, that is also a not null now i would like to save a uh, file size in kb that is big int in when you compare with the java then it's long right file extensions i, I we would like to save uh, as well and finally file content and file content in data type i have given a uh, long text if you take a database like oracle then you have a clob character large object but uh, in mysql we don't have a clob so uh, whatever mysql versions i have uh, that do not provide clob so almost corresponding equivalent is the uh, long text so that I have taken uh, there I am going to save I mean con file content right and uh, this table I'm going to create in the my database and here I'm using database is called JDBC DB so here is a uh, MySQL workbench so let's go to this database so this database is selected I'm going to paste it and let's run it and table is created let's replace it and here table has been created so there is no as of now there is no record in this table so you can see right so table i mean ddl query is executed and table is created in database now <coughs> let's start exploring these files actually the coding part already i have uh, done offline and that i will try to explain you in this video so i have a dbutil class uh, which is responsible to provide the database connection and I have a static method is called get connection which returns the connection object and this connection is getting created in the static block right so here whatever is the required database information as well as database driver I, oh, I have declared on the top of this class and I have a static block and a static block uh, just I am loading the driver or registering the JDBC driver by calling class dot for name and here I am passing uh, JDBC uh, sorry MySQL driver class and I am using get connection method of driver manager and there I am passing database URL username and password and just uh, creating this connection when I call this method from the client program then this connection will be returned to the client right so now come to this uh, client test dot uh, j client uh, test dot java so this is basically client program which holds main method uh, before that i would like to discuss i have a set of files uh, text files in, in this input files uh, directory which is in the project itself and you can see content of these files if i can open so this is the content of file uh, c language or txt so now c plus uh, plus language txt so these are the content basically i have kept so let's open in the system editor so this is the content which i want to save in the database and finally java language or txt we have right so so this is the content i have kept in the file and this file i want to save in the database right so database table already we have created now let's explore this client program so in this client program uh, basically uh, just uh, um, first of all uh, I have written a SQL query right so insert into file store text file underscore table and here I have a specified column names right so one of the column is auto incremental primary key so i'm not sending value for this so remaining columns i'm just trying to set the uh, value from the java program itself 
so that's why column name I have listed and here we have a placeholder right because I want to use prepare statement so there are four columns so four placeholder first placeholder represents the file name second placeholder represents the file size in KB third file extension and fourth file content itself and this is the SQL query dyna dynamic parameter now I am using paths has a method is called get and here just I am specifying the uh, directory name where I have kept my files right so this returns the path object and here I have used J Java 8 so here I have declared some resources using try with resources so files has a method is called list uh, which is added in the JDK 1.8 and that is already I have covered in the uh, JDK 1.8 features so files as a list method they are, they are passing object of path right so this returns as the path uh, a stream object a stream of path and here i am taking the connection by calling get connection dv util and just i am creating the prepare statement as well as well so from java 8 onwards these two interface also extend these two interface also extend auto closable uh, interface so you can declare as a try with resources and even stream api also uh, implements auto closable so these are the resources i have declared as a try with resources so that do, you don't need to close these resources in the finally block so that's the advantage now uh, we have a list i am calling collect method on list and we have a collector utility class and there is a static method is called to list so just i am converting uh, uh, into the list so this gives me the path of list and just uh, I'm printing a message following files are saved in database and here I have applied for each loop just I'm iterating this list and uh, just I'm printing the file name from the path right so this will print the file name like whatever file name we have uh, like uh, C language or txt C++ language language or TST Java language or TST just file name I'm printing and path has a method is called to file which returns you the file object and this is the file object and we can uh, file class has a method is called get name which returns you the file name right so now it, just I'm calculating the file length so here file length uh, we, we will get in the bytes so I want to convert into the KB so that's why I have divided by 1024 so this gives me length in the file length file size in the KB so now uh, I'm setting values for the first placeholder so first placeholder nothing but the file name and this file name so we are getting from the file object so that I am setting now second placeholder represents the file size in KB so file size in KB we have calculated and that we are setting over here now third placeholder that's the file extension so uh, third uh, index represents the file uh, extension so file name i call a uh, sub string method on this string this is a string right so uh, i have written file name dot last index of dot character right and uh, last index of dot character after that your file uh, so if you have a file then after last dot will have an extension right so that's why first i'm trying to find the last index of dot and i'm just adding one so that i'll get the index of uh, sorry extension of the file and that i'm setting on the third uh, placeholder right and finally we are setting content of the file right that is the fourth index right and uh, if you go to the prepare statement then you have a three methods right if you go to the prepare statement then control press control o and you can see there are three methods to set content of the file like set character stream which accepts int reader and int and set character stream which accepts int reader long so any of one method you can use uh, almost this method works in similar fashion so i have used second method right so here you can see what i have done so i have passed the index number this is four and here i am passing the 
uh, reader's object right so reader is a abstract class now subclass of reader is a concrete subclass file reader so just i have created file reader object i am passing the just i am create uh, just i have passing the file to the constructor of file reader and here i am passing the length in long right uh, finally all files i am adding as a badge so this will this loop will iterate and that will add uh, as a badge in the prepare statement uh, finally i am executing this badge so once badge will be executed then for success batch is always going to return you the one and for failure or you can say uh, if any batch is not executed successfully then that is going to return you zero so that's all about this uh, program now let's run this program and see what output we are getting so see saying that following files are saved in the database so these are the file name which we have kept in this input files directory and printing one 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 three times that means all batch is executed successfully means all files and its content all files information as well as its content saved into the database so here let's check the database if i refresh then see so database information every file information has been saved into the database so these are the file id which is all to increment is this is a file name now size in kb now extension of these files and these are the content of these three files so we have inserted all files as a batch so i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code i am going to upload on the github and github location i will specify in the video description part itself so that you can download and you can run on your local machine if you have any query or questions please do post below to the video itself uh, i will try to answer those queries and thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial